Athlete Leadership Programs, or ALPS as it's commonly referred to, is a new program here in Missouri. Uh, what we've done in the last year since 2015 on is really give, start to give our athletes the proper training that they require to become leaders within their teams and within their communities. So ALPS is the perfect vehicle um, to get them uh, more involved in the Special Olympics movement. And just one other way that Special Olympics is so much more than just sports for a lot of our athletes. It's about giving them the proper leadership training um, that they're interested in in a variety of different ways. As progressive as, as Special Olympics was to sports and physical education and health for people with intellectual disabilities was, um, many years ago, I think ALPS is just as progressive. You know, here are these people that have been disenfranchised and they are not given a lot of options and choice in their own life. They're, they're told what to do a lot. And now we are going to empower them to really take on their own organization. At the heart of it, it is education. And it's, it's great to see Special Olympics as a sport organization jump into this idea of, you know, we want to empower athletes to be leaders, but we also want to teach them to be leaders. And I think it's fantastic looking at all the different programming that we have available to athletes and the Leadership for Life programs where athletes are really learning skills that benefit them and their employment ability to be independent. That's really what I want to see and I think that's unique. Nobody else is doing that. Being a leader is helping other athletes and showing other parents and showing co helping other coaches. I like raising money to help other participate in Special Olympics. My major is to be a public speaker to speak to other businesses to get involved with Special Olympics. Each class does have a homework or practicum component along with it, so it's not just they attend the class, check the box, and kind of move on to the next class or next university. In order for this program to really be successful and properly train our athlete leaders, then they need to have something that, that proves they actually learned something in the class. I would really like in the future, you know, education to look at this and say, wow, you know, these individuals are learning skills, gaining confidence in a way that hasn't happened anywhere else and using that as a model to develop growth in these individuals because it's there, that potential is there. It's just getting people in place that can help develop it. I want to get involved in Alps, you know, to advance myself, to be able to learn more about um, what I can do to help others and to um, be able to get back to the community and stuff for what they have done for us. I think that as we grow, um, I think that we'll give other athletes a chance to um, become coaches, to um, become, you know, public speakers, um, and to be able to grow and learn more other than just sports. Throughout this whole Alps University process, our athlete leaders are never alone. They have mentors who are with them every step of the way. It could be somebody that they already know, like a coach or unified partner or a sibling, or it could be a new Special Olympics Missouri volunteer. But the idea is that the mentors are there not to do the work for them, but to kind of push them when our athlete leaders need a little push and kind of guide them along if they need help. With Becca, I have seen at the very beginning, it was she was a lot more timid, and it was hard to get information, whereas now she's riding so much better. It's not taking nearly the amount of time because she's been improving through this university. I've had the pleasure of working with an athlete leader, Daxton Miller, for the past year, and in that year, I have witnessed tremendous growth in areas specifically involving his confidence. I am truly blessed to be in a position where I can coach him through uh, some really difficult skills to learn and in the year I've witnessed him grow in a tremendous way especially with his independence. I want the athletes to realize that they can lead their own lives, make choices, um, and determine their own outcomes. I want the mentors to see these individuals with intellectual disabilities and realize that they don't have to be coddled, they don't have to be held to a lower standard, maybe a different standard, but they can still achieve, they can still learn to be leaders. I hope that people who stick around long enough and see Alps become what I know it can be, really get a new appreciation for 
people with intellectual disabilities and they realize that there is so much untapped potential and that we will stop making assumptions and choices for these individuals and allow them to make choices on their own and, and grow into what they want to be, not what we want them to be. This is my very first college. Come join Alpha, this is kind of fun. <laughs>